live. Yes, sir. 7 p.m. officially. So, good evening, everybody. How are you all doing? Let's see. Right here. Let me pull up chat. Right. And let me quickly set this up as well. So I hope you guys can hear me well. Oh, there are already three people of you here. Oh, that's super cool. So hello, everybody. I hope you can all hear me well. Let me put my phone right over there so I can read the script a little bit better with you guys. So last time what happened was um, when I watched the stream uh, again, the connection was so bad. So I had to delete it and do it all over in uh, video time. But um, as I'm looking at the video myself, it looks actually quite better. So that's a good thing. So welcome, everybody. Uh, let me do a quick more test. So... All right, so here we go. Yes, so chat works. So again, for the fifth time, hello, everybody. Um, welcome to the stream. Uh, before we begin, I uh, quickly want to take a time for uh, to say something. Uh, as some of you might have seen, um, we have reached our 500 subscriber goal. And it even got further. Uh, I think we are now at 115 or 115, 516 even. I mean, we have surpassed the 500 goal. So I'm immensely grateful uh, that you guys actually like me rambling. A guy who is not good at his Dutch, uh, Dutch English. But um, it means a lot that so many of you guys like my content. Uh, and we got our first super chat. Let's see. Historic shipbuilding, 500 sub special. So, yes, I had an idea to do a 500 sub special. Uh, I thought maybe uh, doing a Q&A on my Instagram that, um, that I would ask questions or um, that, uh, that I might ask questions or that I might show actually my postcard collection. But uh, we will see uh, where that goes. So... Um, continue like this good luck thank you very much uh, Faustino I hope I said your name correctly but um, thank you very much for again the all of you guys like my content um, but we are here for a different reason or different reason we are here to talk about the Queen Mary update repair uh, she will be repaired so that's a good thing um I'm 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 glad that she is repaired. I really am. Um but I it's a big it's a big uh in in how do you say it in English? It's a big thing. It's a big ship to repair. So we will see how that goes. Um so I will share my screen view one second. Let me get the good tablet open. So let's see where, yes. So actually one of the first streams I did was with uh, Yamuna Skybet that you all might know. And we actually talked about the Queen Mary. Uh, that was our first stream. Or, um, <laughs> by the way, sorry, I'm messing something up. Uh, I have topics written up <laughs> in a book. So, uh, I will read them for you. So what I intend to discuss is, of course, the repair. Uh, we're going to read an article from the LA Times, and I will give my opinion on it. Um, we will talk, of course, about the lifeboat, because that's a big thing these last days. And we will talk about the final, uh, my final opinion uh, of, I think, how this thing uh, shall go. But now that that is out of the way, uh, there's a new super chat. Or super chat a chat. Have you done the SS Belgenland video or no? I haven't. Uh, I haven't yet done that one. 
um but indeed it's an it's an video idea that i would like to do in the future so uh stay tuned stay tuned uh a special talking about your favorite videos or what you would change about some of the first so yeah actually i was thinking also about that one because um what i was thinking actually was um that we might react to some of my first videos i made which uh, my english was far worse than this actually and uh uh, the editing skills were bad so good idea i was thinking about that also but uh we will see where it goes um if you haven't done the ss belgenland video i suggest you do that one in the future i surely will but for now we are here again talking about mary so uh let me share my screen like i said again first uh the first stream i actually did was with Yumuna skybed and we were talking uh, about the Queen Mary when she was bankrupt. And I have that act article actually quite here. Let me show you. Uh, which one is it? I see. Yeah, here we go. So we were talking about this one. The operator of Queen Mary in Long Beach files for uh, bankruptcy protection. We were talking about that one and um, the fears that we had mostly uh, what would happen and um, it was quite scary but again there is talk of her being repaired so that's a good thing uh, luckily that's a good thing so um, there is an article right here um, let me now get the good one where is it I had so many articles uh, it's hard to Look, so yeah, here we go. Here we go. I have the article. Yes, finally. So the article right here. So I will show you guys and we can talk about it. Uh, leave your opinions also, of course, in the chat, because I really uh, would like your opinions of... Uh, what do you think will happen to the Mary? Will she will she survive the repair? Um, I would like to know your opinions. So, or if you have any questions, please uh, ask them. So here we go. Queen Mary wants a risk of capsizing. Gets a new lease on life starting February. So um, I'm a little bit late with this, but uh, yes. But anyway. So a 5 million repair project will begin next month to reopen the Queen Mary to the public. So that's, of course, a good thing. The latest step to keep the Bell Gurge Long Beach, Long Beach tourist attraction afloat. The former ocean liner turned floating hotel closed in May 2020 because of the corona pandemic, of course, which seems a long time ago. Uh, several studies have, con have been conducted to gauge the work that needed to keep the vessel open to tourists and prevent parts of the ship from flooding. The 88-year-old 88 ship is in such disrepair that the city of Long Beach had considered, so considered the option of sinking it after taking control of the vessel from the lease operator last year. I think this would have been a big, big bad thing uh, in the ocean liner community. Just imagine like, oh yeah, a news article, uh, you're an ocean liner enthusiast like many of us, and out of nowhere you see the Queen Mary being sunk or that she would have sinked. Um, what an impact would it have had on the... Uh, community if she actually would have sunken i think that would have been a terrible idea if the queen mary uh would have been sunk so uh let me read to see if i did something no so uh let me continue the company that held the lease to operate the ship 
Eagle Hospitality Front filed for bankruptcy protection in January 2021. Uh, streams are messy. I'm sorry. There we go. So the company that held to the lease to operate the ship, Eagle Hospitality Trust, filed for bankruptcy protection in January 2021 and agreed to surrender its lease agreement in June, Long Beach. In June, Long Beach, which owns the ship and the property around it, said Eco Hospitality defaulted on several provisions of the lease, including failure to maintain the aging ship. Because that was also a thing, right? Um, you have this piece of history, an ocean liner that has done so many beautiful things. It has been a menace for the Nazis in the Second World War. They couldn't sink the vessel because the Mary was so fast during World War II as a troop ship. Um, the maiden voyage was a huge success. Uh, the people who sailed on her had a great time. And when she actually entered Long Beach, uh, of course, it was nice because uh, at first you have a hotel. It goes well at the beginning, but actually... The foundation, they left Queen Mary, basically a little bit, in my opinion, to rot because um, they didn't take good care of her. The halls were a mess. Were a mess. There, were, there was crap in the hallways. Uh, I actually saw toys of children just random in a hallway. I was like, this is not how you treat an old ship. And certainly not the Queen Mary. So um, they to say that they failed is just a small thing. Uh, they messed up big time, in my opinion. Over the last 50 years, Long Beach had recruited several companies, including Walt Disney and Co., to manage the ship and develop the ancient oceanfront property with mixed results. Before the pandemic, the ship generated... 3.3 million in tax revenue annually, annually from its operation as an hotel and venue for concerts and festivals and as a film location. Of course, the Poseidon, uh, the Poseidon movie was one of those was filmed in the Queen Mary. So quickly chat. Is all things going well? Is the, are we good? Am I not lagging? Am I not lagging like the last time? You can hear me correctly because otherwise it would be pretty sad. So somebody says, Henry says, what's funny about the Queen Mary is some big YouTubers saying that she is haunted. I don't believe that she's haunted. Of um, I don't believe in ghosts. That's one thing. Uh, I, I don't just don't believe in ghosts at all. So, um, but again, you can say, I can't argue with some people who said, oh yeah, but I've experienced it. So, but I personally don't believe in ghosts. Hello, Olympic VS. Welcome. Oh, thank you so much for being here, man. That really means a lot. Thank you. But no, uh, Henry, I don't believe that... Uh, personally, I don't believe that the ship is haunted. Uh, let's go back to the article. We are we are swishing back and forth <laughs> from uh, Super Chats and stuff. Sorry. Uh, yes. So, where did I end? Uh, as, an, and as a film location. Here we go. Previous studies since 2017 estimated that the ship needs as much as 289 million in re renovations and upgrades to keep parts of it from flooding. According to inspection reports released last year by hired city, city hired marine engineering film firm Elliott Bay Design Group. The Queen Mary needs 23 million in immediate repairs to prevent it from possibly capsizing. Oh, 
Olympic VS says, I would like to know how much original equipment and furniture is stored on board in its warehouses. I would like that to know as well, you know. Um, maybe in the future, what I would love is um, that uh, when they do the reservations or renovations, that actually they will sell a few of the interiors of the Mary, maybe some plates or some furniture pieces of some, or something else. That would be very cool. Uh, I'm going to remove myself one. A little bit of advertising. Um, so this is something else um, that I actually had on the list of things I wanted to talk about. So the upgrades will include the removal of deteriorating lifeboats that exert stress and create severe cracks in the ship's support system. The city said it's a news in a news release that 13 original lifeboats will be removed from the ship and temporarily stored while the city determines whether there is any interest from museums and other nonprofit groups to preserve them. So I don't like the idea at all. I hate the idea that they are going to remove the boats. Because let me explain. Um, the boats are part of the Queen Mary. Queen Mary's history. The boats and the of the Queen Mary and the Queen Mary itself is history. You don't remove history. I mean... Um, if if it goes if it goes to a museum and it will be repainted in its original state that will be fine but um i also saw an article i believe i forgot the name that there uh, people normal people like civilians are actually buying the lifeboats for themselves and i was like just no don't sell the lifeboats to civilians keep them in a museum keep them preserved so what what's you guys uh, what's your guys opinion on that? Do you think that the Queen Mary lifeboats uh, needs to be sold to civilians or needs to go to a museum? Let me know. So am I lagging again? Oh, we're good. Sorry. Just checking. We are good. Um because also one thing with the nomadic lifeboats uh, when before she went to France, I think um, the lifeboats were put away and they were in extremely bad shape. I don't want that to be the same case with the Queen Mary lifeboats. So keep them in a museum, preserve them, in my opinion. Uh, but there are some lifeboats that are leaving the Queen Mary who are actually from other ships. I thought the museums had been offered the chance to buy them first before they were offered to private collectors. Indeed. Indeed, they were offered to uh, museums before being sold to or uh, offered to private collectors. But I haven't seen an article yet of actually a museum taking them over. So I've seen... Um, that life, I've seen li articles that the lifeboats are being sold to anyone. Doesn't matter who. Uh, Olympic VS says, I agree. I was disgusted to see the Queen E destroyed. All cranes and boats were removed and lying close to the ship. You don't want, I don't want to see that again. I mean, why? push them away make a, make an a temporary solution of keeping them with the mary or bring them to a museum but don't don't sell them to somebody 
or to people who don't know what to do with them. I mean, myself, I, I have an extremely small garden. If I would buy such a lifeboat, it would take over the entire garden. I mean, those things are huge. And if you don't have space for them, what are you going to do with those lifeboats? Are you going to keep them in your garage and leaving them to rot there? No, they deserve much better. They are history. In my opinion, take them again to a museum, preserve them, keep them safe. Uh, the city also plans to install permanent village pumps to remove water intrusion in the event of an emergency and make improvements to the bulkhead. Emergency generator and water in intrusion warning system, according to the city. Other electrical work, including lighting for one of the ship's massive exhaust funnels, has already been completed. Half of the funding for the initial repairs will come from the city till did land funds, which are generated by permit fees, parking revenue and rent from various waterfront concessions and leases along the shore. The funds are set aside for maintenance operations and repairs for other marinas, beaches and waterways. The convention center, the Green Mary, and other f facilities along the shoreline. The other half of the funding is expected to be approved by the city council in the next few months. So, uh, like I said, this article was published 27 January 2022. So a little bit behind, but I mean, not that extremely behind. So that is one of the articles. So that is then the repair uh, article uh, done. I, 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 again, I wrote all the subjects on the book that I wanted to cover because otherwise the stream would be more messy, in my opinion. So are there more chats or chats in general? Olympic BS. I would like to buy one of our lifeboats to my collection, but the shipping to Europe could be a little bit expensive. Poor postman. And where would you, if 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 you would um, carry such a lifeboat, um, how would you preserve it during the transport? That's another thing. That is another thing, my friend. So, but um, Olympic VS, while are you here? I don't know if you know this, but uh, some of the Queen Mary lifeboats are from different ships. And one of those ships is one of your favorites, I think. Let me go to that article. One, a few lifeboats of the Queen Mary or which are on the Queen Mary is one is are from a vessel that I think you love very much as well do I. Some of those lifeboats on the Mary are from the Queen Elizabeth, right here. The sister ship of the Queen Mary, which sadly sank in a fire. So it's not only that you're removing history from the Queen Mary itself, but you're also removing history from an ill-fated ship like the Queen Elizabeth, which sank those lifeboats are the only thing that's left of the Queen Elizabeth, of the reminder of the Queen Elizabeth. Why? <laughs> I mean, just why would you do that? I'm not trying to get angry or pissed, but I mean, just, just why? Keep them on the ship. So a few of the lifeboats are from the Queen Elizabeth, but there are also some ones of the other Cunard liner. The RMS Sylvania. Oh, oh that, 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 that didn't go well. The RMS Sylvania, right here. Some of the lifeboats are from her as well. Again, you're removing history from a ship that is no more. So um, I, I don't agree with removing the lifeboats at all. As you can, uh, as you can, as you can clearly see in my reaction, I'm against it. 
completely against it. So uh, that's something about the other thing. Uh, we have talked about sinking the vessel, lifeboats. So what I would like for the Queen Mary, I think, or I hope that it will happen, is that they, that England will someday, Great Britain, that Great Britain will someday say we will take over the Queen Mary once again. Because Long Beach is not handling the Queen Mary well, in my opinion. They are not handling the legacy of the Queen Mary well. Like I said earlier, sure, the Queen Mary, when she first arrived in Long Beach, it was something new. It was something exciting. But in these days, they are treating the Queen Mary poorly. So I hope that... Um, Great Britain someday I really hope that Great Britain will someday say oh yeah we are talking over the Queen Mary and she will be restored like the battleship Belfast in London I mean because um, there are many examples of uh, ships that are actually museums hotels and I will show you two of them Two ships that are hotels slash museums that are treated way nicer than the Queen Mary. And one of them is a ship in my country. Or my country. Yeah, the country where I live in. One of those ships that are is preserved as a museum ship in my country where I live is V I I had I had a hard impact. I thought that I had deleted the stream. I couldn't find it. Um by the way I love your chats. I love you chat. I love interacting with with the community this way. Uh, Olympic VS again. He says, I think that some lifeboats from the Queen, Queen Elizabeth are still in Hong Kong or somewhere in Asia and are still in operation as fishing boats, for example. Oh, I didn't know that. Very interesting. Very interesting. I didn't know that. Look, I mean, even if they don't know what to do with the lifeboats, if the lifeboats are not being sold as people want them to be sold, Make fishing boats, for the example. Make them seaworthy again. But anything instead of the lifeboats, like my English, keep them good. Don't make them like the lifeboats of the nomadic, which were like thrown away. Good evening, Jake Goodwin. Exactly. Exactly. The museum ship slash hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, I am giving you the SS Rotterdam, which is also based in Rotterdam, of course. And this ship is like the Queen Mary, a museum ship, ship slash uh, hotel. And you can argue... Uh, that the Rotterdam is of kind of a different time space. But but um, it should not be hard to keep a ship in good state. I mean, the Rotterdam is also, I think, pretty old. And um, But they, she is way, way better preserved than the Queen Mary. I mean, just look at her hull. Her hall is sometimes, when I'm in Rotterdam, her hall is being painted. Uh, interior, uh, her interior is being redone sometimes as well when I'm on board. They keep her in a very good shape. Not like, they don't waste her way like the Queen Mary. Treat her like, uh, treat, the Rotter Qu treat the Queen Mary like the Rotterdam. Sorry. So. Uh, oh, there's a different one. There's one first here. Oh, screen sharing. Stop it. 
even if lifeboats do get sold to private collectors, they may be restored and can take to the waters yet again. That that might be a thing. That that might happen very well. But I just, in my opinion, I wouldn't like that. Just keep them uh, in a museum. I'm sure that are that there are collectors which I'm 100% sure that collect that there are collectors that would keep the lifeboats safe. Uh, I'm 100% sure that there are some of those people. But there are also some other people who just buy them and leave them to rot. So. But you have a point. You have a point, uh, historic shipbuilding. So we have Mr. Jake Goodwin. Kia ora from New Zealand, I think, the Auckland War Memorial Museum is thinking of getting one of the Queen Mary or Queen Elizabeth lifeboats because of the amount of New, Ze of New Zealander on those ships. I don't know that ship. Yeah, is she a ship? I don't know it. But very interesting. Very interesting. I will take a look at that. But uh, like I said, there is also a other ship that is... I don't think that she is an hotel or... No, I think that she is an museum ship, not an hotel ship. Uh, right, Jay Goodwin says troops in the war. So she was a troop ship? Interesting. Very interesting. Well, I hope they do. I really hope they do. So is the stream is the stream still performing well, guys? Am I not lagging like last time? Are we running smoothly? I think we are. Good. I think I finally found out the problem I had last time with my stream because it was laggy as hell. It was terrible. But um, like I said, there is another ship that is uh, being preserved as a uh, museum ship. It's all good. Oh, that's, I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank the Lord for that. Let's see. Here we are. The SS Kivatin, another uh, example of an old ship that is still being preserved quite well. I mean, <laughs> of all pictures I took, I took this one where it's a little bit, of, where's this a little bit of rust. But I mean, the Kivatin is also being preserved quite well. Uh, she is still museum ship, and you can still visit inside and take um, a look around or something. So she is not in the best shape, like the Rotterdam. I'm not bragging or anything, but but I think she's also better preserved than the Queen Mary. So that's also a different ship, a museum ship. And there are so many other different museum ships which uh, are being treated more fairly than the Queen Mary. And, you know, I, I, I get a little bit angry, upset, because we're talking about history and... A huge ocean liner like that. It just saddens my heart to think that something would come to this. Uh, Olympic VS again. It would be great for Britain to buy Queen Mary back, renovate it and replace it permanently in Green, green Knock Dry Dock near Clydebank. It's still empty. Indeed! What an, what an amazing idea. Why wouldn't Britain want that they're super ship no but what an what an amazing idea why wouldn't great britain do that i i still wonder why they haven't i really do because that would be a huge win. Like you can put it in the dry dock and you can advertise it as the gray ghost. 
the ship that Hitler couldn't sink. You can advertise it like that, like the great ship that Hitler couldn't sink. That would be an an an, an amazing um, line to advertise the museum in England. And also, one thing is with uh, documentaries and 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 stuff. People married on the ship, and 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 um, I'm sure that it hurts them as well that the ship that they were married on is doing so badly. Um, Mary would return home, but I can't imagine her being towed across the Atlantic. Uh, that that is a different thing. That's that's correct. Uh, her hall isn't the best. But um, like you said, if Great Britain would try and buy the uh, Queen Mary, maybe the America could help maybe fixing the hole a little bit that she's seaworthy for crossing the ocean. Maybe that could be a thing. Let's see. She r should run under her own power and travel the world. Run under the Cunard line law. Yeah. There will be something, right? I don't see that happening, but um, in the state that she's in right now, but that would be something. I agree. In a different timeline, in a different timeline, uh, that would be that would be amazing. So uh, there was an other topic I wanted to talk about. Um, of course, in this stream, I, I in this stream I give my opinion about um, what I think of the project. But there is actually a YouTuber who actually takes, uh, who who keeps you updated. Uh, so if you guys want to check out his channel, or if you want to stay updated with the Queen Mary news, uh, his name is Alex the Historian, and yeah, he gives monthly updates on how the Queen Mary is doing. So if you want to know how news-wise how she's doing, uh, Alex will tell you that. Uh, let's see. Excluding being hotel ships, there are lots of well-preserved ships. The SS Nomadic, for example, she is in great ship given her age. Exactly. Exactly. True. 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 It doesn't even have to be indeed a museum ship. It does. It just needs to be better preserved than how the Queen Mary is preserved, in my opinion. Uh, I remember. I think it was also a live stream. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but that was a story how I got into ocean liners and ships. And I went with my dad to uh, Belfast to visit the to visit the Titanic Museum. And I was at that time 11. I'm now 20. Uh, at that time, I was 11, maybe 15. I don't exactly remember, but I remember standing on the nomadic and I was so hyped. I was holding the wheel. I was in her decks. I was so hyped. Amazing. Uh, yes. Alex, the historian. Keeps great updates. He's, in he's indeed uh, a great YouTuber. I, I normally check him out for uh, to stay update updated with uh, the Queen Mary news. So uh, if I want to know how the ship is doing, Queen Mary, then um, I'd check out his channel. Mr. Louis Dobson, a guy who's always in my streams. Welcome. Glad again to see you here. There isn't enough interest for what, what, for what it would cost to bring Queen Mary back to the UK. It's sad, but it's the truth. Yeah, indeed. But how would it be if we can in if we can let our minds roam away and if we can fantasize for a little bit, right? How would it be if there was like a Clyde Palmer fellow 
who saw the Queen Mary in the state that she's in, and he will be like, you know what? I will take her back to her home country. How would that be? If a guy like, like Clyde Palmer wakes up and is like, you know what? I'm taking the Queen Mary back to her home. But for now, like you said, um, there isn't enough interest. And I, I, I actually wonder why there isn't enough interest. It uh, amazes me that there isn't any interest in her. Because her story is so rich. I will actually get I will actually get something. Wait one second. I will be right back. I'm getting one small thing. We back. Queen Mary should come to New Zealand for a while and get repaired in Auckland. Then sail with passengers to England, stopping at Cape Town and Perth. Then Cherbourg, then London, Southampton. Would you mean one voyage or would you mean that she would just sail those distances? Hmm. By the way... I was thinking, means whilst I was getting the things I wanted to get. How would it be if the Queen Mary was repaired and she would sail the oceans, but then as a history voyage? It, am, I, am I saying something crazy like buy the Queen Mary and sail on her as a, a history voyage? Would that be a crazy idea? Would be something very interesting. But what I wanted to get uh, regarding uh, the chat of Mr. Louis Debson, that there isn't enough interest of her in her. Um, like I said, I don't imagine why. Because there's so much uh, history on the liner. And uh, one book that I actually finished to read is this one. Um, the Armist Queen Mary, Queen of the Seas by William J. Duncan. A definitive history of the ship and the people who made her finish. Famous. Famous. With more than one 100 pages of photographs. This is a um, vintage book. It's not the newest one. But, um, oh, damn, you can't see the title very well. Uh, it talks about her history very well. Uh, how she went in the war, her passenger service, how she went to Long Beach. And um, you have some pictures, of course. And when I finished reading this book, the ship has so much history. I really think that, that England needs to open their eyes and say, you know what? Let's take her back. Siri is pissing me off. No, I think, I always think that law happy. Ha no, I always think that law happy someone else does. Yeah. I mean, just create something like a history voyage. Create something like that, where you could be like a pleasure voyage, where you could sail on the Queen Mary once again and 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 uh, enjoy time on the ship of a forgotten era. Forgotten era. 
but there's also another book, of course, talking about the Queen Mary, and that's this one. I think we all know this. Classic liners, Queen Mary, Andrew Britton. Um, not the biggest book, of course. You have some small pages talking about her history, wartime, and many, many pictures of her colored, of course, of her uh, of the ship itself. So, how long is the stream going? I, I kind of said what I wanted to say on the Queen Mary. What do you guys think? What do you guys think should happen to the Queen Mary? Or, or happen? What do you think will happen with the Queen Mary in the future? Do you guys think that she will actually be repaired? And that she will actually be reformed to her former glory? Because personally, I have a hard time believing that. Um, I, I actually do. So we are now streaming for 54 minutes. Oh. Hello, sir. I hope repair. She will. No, yeah, of course. She will be repaired. Um, but I think will she get will she get her former glory back? Will she be treated better? Will she be treated better? It needs a lot, indeed, it needs a lot of money, but, but, um, imagine if that, uh, Im imagine, um, if you have paid the ship, if she is back in her old state when she entered Long Beach, imagine how, how much height it would be again. I think she should be fully restored and hopefully she would be repaired and saved. I hope so too. I hope so too. I will keep my eye out on the uh, Alex the historian who again gives very well news on the Queen Mary situation. I really like the steam engine. Me and you, buddy. Me and you. We both like steam ships. What happens to those ships, right? Oh, I forgot to shoot. <laughs> I actually read one. Uh, sorry, uh, Olympic VS. Unfortunately, it's not possible for her to return to service. She's already an old lady and does not comply with all strict maritime rules. True. There's again that factor. Then there's again a VAT factor indeed. But it would be cool though, right? If that could happen. Uh, let me read this one. I can't imagine Mary with modern boats and interior that would have to be... My English, I'm sorry. I can't ima imagine Mary with modern boats and an interior that would have to be more modern for today's demanding clientele. But for museum and hotel in Clybank would be great retirement for the ship. Indeed. Anything, again, better than how she's treated now. Everything but how she's treated now. Yeah, Alex is the best. I think I was the best. No, <laughs> no, no. I'm joking. I'm joking. Sorry. Just a joke. I think she will only get their bare minimum repairs unless they develop the area around her. So there's more there's more to bring people and money into the business. I'm going to pitch you a small idea. You know how they could do that because it was a problem right with um the submarine also next to the queen mary they want to they want to uh remove the submarine because her hull is is as thin as paper but the problem is they can't remove the submarine because the whole the hull of the submarine is so thin that if she breaks apart whilst raising the submarine that they think all toxic 
things will get in the area causing more problems for her and possibly also the Mary. But let me pitch some small idea once again. If they would remove the submarine, I know a ship that would take a place next to her very well. I don't know if Prenet is in the chat, but he will get angry at me. Uh, let's see. Yes, going on those new restrictions due to her being refitted, oh, she would have to dry dock every year for inspection, which given her size is difficult to say the least. True. True. No, you are the best. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm the I'm not the best. I'm not the best. I'm just a guy like I'm just a guy who likes ships like so many of you and is just so blessed to have so many of you guys watching my content. A guy who doesn't even talk good English. It means a lot. Thank you, Olympic BS. You're a big inspiration why I started, that's for sure. server yes sir i do uh, when i'm done with the stream i will leave it in the description and um you you can join um i'm not i'm not too good with discord because i uh i work outside i work pretty much so i don't have time to regularly maintain my discord but sometimes I will like pitch an idea of or of a thumbnail that is uh, being made or uh, something like that. By the way, uh, that makes me think of something because the guy who actually makes my thumbnails, he's actually right here. I don't know if you will like this, but I think it needs to be said. Um, how do I get back to my... I don't want graphics here. Captions, no graphics. Yes, there we go. There we go. So, the guy who, again, who actually makes my thumbnails is right here. Uh, let me get to the phone or something. Uh, I'm trying to find one of the thumbnails. Bear with me for a second because I have so many. Again, I don't know if he will like me putting him on the spot like this, but um, he need. He, if you're still in the chat, you know that I want to give you credit so badly. So I think. It's time now to do something. Uh, right here. So a few days ago, I made a video about the SS Robert E. Lee, right? And um, there was an amazing thumbnail made by a friend of mine. And he has a Discord. His Discord name is Swanky. Because you don't, even though when I have a thumbnail and I have an idea, I'm so, I sound pushy. It's because I'm hyped for the idea, but I really appreciate what you do. Like, really. Oh, 
all streaming lines. I don't know if you would like there. If you would like, there is a YouTube channel called Second Empire Strikes Back. It's about a couple who is re restoring a 1819s mansion in St. Louis. That's it. That, I would. I would check that out. Sounds interesting. Yes, I definitely will. I would like us to meet and our other mutual friends, for example, on board on one of the queens. It would be a stylish meeting. Indeed, it would. Indeed, it would. Uh, in my free time, I, I know I'm wearing I'm wearing a hoodie right now, right? But in uh, sometimes in my free time, I love dressing casual. So, with stylish meeting, my friends, I will go like full Godfather style in that meeting. But it would be amazing. Yes. That would be an amazing idea. Love that idea. Well, I wait so now. No, of course, you deserve the credit for all of these thumbnails, uh, historic ship building. Again, he has his own YouTube channel. Check it out. It's amazing. Can you get the Discord in chat now? I will try. I will try. Give me. Five people still watching and just chatting. Thank you so much for sticking with me, guys. Still this far. It really means a lot. Queen Anne made a voyage. Indeed. Yes, sir. 100%. Sent me. Help me pay for the voyage. No joking. That's something, right? The Queen Anne. Queen Anne. You know, you know what I like um, with these with these uh, streams is that talking with the community, talking with you guys. It's so much fun for me. Very, very much fun. Right here. So I am not a big fan of cruise ships. I I actually don't like many cruise ships, but. Um. Uh, why is Google showing ads? No. I just want to show a bloody picture. Right. All right. Let's see then. But like I say, I don't like cruise ships. There are some that, some that I like, but not many. Uh, let me try. Screen share. Yes. Yes, sir. The Queen Anne, ladies and gentlemen. Right here. I don't think that she looks ugly. I mean, she doesn't look ugly at all. There, there. It makes me think of a little bit of Queen Mary too. Not completely, of course, but she isn't ugly. I mean, of all the Cunard vessels, uh, besides the Queen Mary too, because I I like the Queen Mary too. Uh, besides the other ones, she while whilst looking at her, she's one of my favorites, or I like her design. So. 
There are some new chats. Oh, wow, guys. Thank you so much for still being with me. Old shipping lines. Video idea on the RMS Nigeria is about to ship. That was the first passenger ship to use oil, not coal, and sank off the coast of New Zealand in 1940. I've heard of her. I've heard of her. I, I actually made one Instagram post on her, I think, as well. I've heard of her. An interesting but sad story indeed. I will definitely do a video of her in the future. I was, by the way, thinking, guys, uh, for the five people that are still here. I love these streaming platforms. I like streaming this way. Would you like me to stream more like this and just chill with you guys? Talk about some ideas. Talk about ships. Okay, so it blocked the link. Then uh, I will put the Discord in the uh, in the chat later after the stream. After hitting a mine, yes. So how is everyone this evening? I was a little bit scared to be honest about the stream because my English is sucks. And um, I try to be as correct. So what is everybody saying? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Old shipping lines. Do you like the Normandy or Ile de France? I would say Ile de France. But I am I am trying to buy a book on the Normandy because she also has a very interesting life story. I love the Anne. Old-fashioned nameplate painted in white to black hole reminds me good old times. Indeed. Indeed, my friend. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. I always think of cruise ships as flat buildings. Many of them look like flat buildings. By the way, which makes me think about... <laughs> you know, again, these streams, I have ideas and we're talking to each other, right? And... and, and uh, I need to show you guys something. So, um, in one of the Discord rooms, I posted a picture of an Italian liner. I myself, I'm Italian, but I live in the Netherlands. But um, I'm mostly Italian. So, but there was a picture that I wanted to show you guys. Um, right here. Right here. So, Yes. Can we open it originally? And can I open the other one originally? Please say yes. No, 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 no. By the way, I saw also with the streaming platform that I can include music for me. May so maybe in the future, I will include music in the streams as well. But there are again some chats. Uh, your your English is fine. I'm new to English. I learned to speak Maori when I was younger. You're all good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The Titanic was the first ship that I love and I know a lot about it. Me too. I also have my, my bookcase. Is I have a big, pretty much bookcase, and there's a whole section of the bookcase just reserved for books about Titanic. Old shipping lines, you sound Scottish to me. Uh, in my older videos, I tried to sound Scottish because I thought that the Dutch accent when you talk English is bad. <laughs> and I tried to talk Scottish to kind of making it seem a little bit better. But what I wanted to show you guys was uh, quickly this, if we're talking about cruise ships. So this ship sadly sunk. This is a Italian ferry, um, Pocaccio. She was an Italian ferry 
and uh, she served for the Italian flag for a long time. Uh, but later she would um, uh, she would be sold to uh, Egypt. And if you look at the fairy right here, right, she looks nice. She looks lovely, right? Well, then there's the picture of what happened to her later. This. This happened. What happened to the superstructure? They put a whole flat on the ship. It's like it's like even a whole flat building on top. So like here, right, right there, there's a bridge, and they built this on top of it. I find that terrible. My eye, my eyes bleed, right? It looks, ter it looks disgusting. It looks terrible. It looks terrible. Why in the hell would they do something like that? But then there's something um, in, when I go to Italy, there, um, my family comes from the Isle of Ischia and Ischia is, an island near Napoli and uh, you can only arrive there by ship and uh, it's like a half hour voyage because there's some pretty much distance between the two but uh, other than that um, there is a ferry that I sailed very much on when I went to Italy and that is this one the Terenia, or she's owned by Terenia, but her name is Claudia. Um, I don't mind this kind of superstructure because, um, again, it has a big, big superstructure, but it's not as big as this. It's not as big as this. It's a little bit more nicely done. So, how long are we going live now? One hour and seven minutes. One hour and seven minutes, guys. I didn't think that so many of you would be still here. Thank you very much. But the Orania looked awful in her original. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Jesus. The Italian ship. Horrible ship, indeed. Another video idea. The Wahine. It sank... It sank is Wellington Harbor in a storm, 1950. And a lot of people died. My grandfather was on the boat and survived. Really? Really? Oh, that that is very interesting. Um... I actually made a video about the Wahine. Um, it's one of my older videos. So uh, my English isn't the best in that one. But I made a video about the Wahine. Um, where is it? Wahine, right here. Six, six months ago, I made a video about the sinking of the Wahine. So I, I made a video about it. How old are you? I am 20 years old, sadly. 20 years old. I, I missed the days when I was 16. Less, res less responsibility. My eyes are sick, lol. It's morning over here in New Zealand and I have a lot of time. Right here, the time right now here, it's like um, 8, 9 p.m. I, 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 I'm not good with times. I want to show you guys something because we're talking about, the, uh, because we're having such a good time, I think, at least I am. I have, I'm having a blast. Um, where was it? 
uh, I'm trying to find for the super chat because, but there's so many of you guys who actually sent something. I love this. I love this so much. Oh, this feels good to talk with the community. Um, where is it? Uh, where is it? Special. Yeah, here we go. Um, because what I wanted, what I wanted to do as the 500 special, uh, and more is, uh, showing my older videos and learning and watching them with you guys. And I actually want, if that's okay with you, I actually want to watch one of my first videos or my first video I ever made. If that's okay with you guys, I would love you to show them. Oh, I would love you to see it. Uh, lol, I started learning about Titanic and ships when I was eight years old and watched the Titanic movie at about nine. W well, do you want me to tell you something? Uh, when I watched the Titanic James Cameron version, uh, I watched, I would, I would skip forward anytime, every time to the sinking. Not because there's so much death. Um, but yeah, I want to show you one of my first videos. So, um, after that, we'll see what happens. So right here. Uh, this video, the story, I, I won't show you the whole video because I'm embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. I will show you like maybe a few minutes of it, a few seconds. But I don't want to show it all because it's so embarrassing. Because, but it's fun at the same time. So this video is made 5 March 2021. That's when I started. 2021. My nose, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Right here. Scare screen. So... Um, 2021, I made a video on the story of the SS Imparato. And in my opinion, it's one of the worst videos that I made. But um, it actually got this many views, which I find very interesting. But I want to show you uh, a small piece of this video. So I've turned the volume up and I hope you can hear it. Historian, so if I get some things wrong, so as you already can hear, my mic is very low, and you can hear that I'm trying to do the Scottish accent. Also known as the old shipping lines, and I just want to say that I'm not an historian. So if I get, can you guys wrong, hear it? I'm sorry, <laughs> don't come after me, but uh, I the old logo as well. So yeah, enjoy. So, with that out of the way, welcome to the story of the SS Imperator, also known later as the RMS Berengaria. I will show you, I, I, I will let you watch this for a few seconds. I need to grab something. One second again. I need to grab something again. One second. One second.
Oh. The keel of the SS Imperato would be laid in 1910. She would be the biggest ship until her sister ship be... That's, that's all I wanted to show you. So... Uh, because I saw this super chat right here. I have a Queen Mary dinner menu from April 1st, 1948. And the dinner that day was roast lamb. I have also a artifact. Yes, sir. I have. I bought this actually from a Dutch marketplace. It's called um, markplaats.com. So I have a menu as well from a ship called the MS Jempo. I need, I'm trying to find a good picture of it. So you guys can say right, please show me a good picture. Show me a good pic. So where is the good picture? Right here. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I actually have a menu card of the, like I said, that means the MS Tempo right here. I'm, I'm sorry, you, you can't see the inside, but... Oh, wait, no, it's... Oh, no, it's not the Tempo. It's the... It's a different ship. Oops, the. I won't make the stream too long, guys, because otherwise people will get bored at me rumbling and stuff. I'm sorry, but I'm having such a I'm having such a blast. Uh, right here. So, like I said, uh, I have this menu right here, and. Uh, this is the inside. Of course, you can see shit, but um, that's inside. So, I hope the stream is going still smoothly. And that is that nothing is going wrong. So, I think I will end it here. Um, I will leave on my old shipping lines Instagram um or i will keep you all guys updated when the next stream will be uh this week i'm pretty busy but there is a video coming for which i'm very much excited uh and my good dear friend again uh historic ship building is making the amazing thumbnail the next stream will be I will leave of course the discord link in the uh, description of the video so you can join our discords uh, I will lead I will read the last chaps or last chats don't forget the discord of course uh, lol as my mom would say you're a heavy you have a potty mouth <laughs> It's not the first time I've heard it, my friend. Uh, I see you later. Of course, we have, of course, I will send you. I will show the Discord in the description of the video. Uh, but stay tuned for the upcoming video, my friends. Um, I will show you the thumbnail. And thank you again so much for uh, subscribing to me. And um, again, I can't believe that many of you guys like my content. It really means a lot. So uh, if your friends, of course, like ships or ocean liners, please show them my channel. We are now trying to reach the 600 subscribers. And uh, without other way, guys, thank you for joining my stream. Have a good night or day wherever you are. And we will see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.